What's up, YouTube? So let's see what take a hot legs. Back at the game with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to unzip the game files for your PS2 games. So let's get it in. Alright, first things first is we gotta find the files. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump onto the internet and we're gonna look up this website. The link will be in the description. It's called ROM Hustler. So let me go back to the home. I'm going to show y'all how to use it if y'all have never used it before. So whenever you're looking for a ROM, you go to ROMs. And you'll see where it says different, like, uh, different game systems. So we're looking for PS2. Scroll down. You look for whatever game that you want. So in this case, I'll do God of War. But I already have some downloaded. But I have some downloaded right here. Right there. So I'm not really going to download it. I'll just show y'all how to do it. It says downloading, but not in reality. Just click here. Just wait a little bit, let it do its thing. All right, so you see how it says downloading. So right here, oh, and I got Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But anyway. I actually don't want that to download, so I'm going to stop it from downloading or actually not really care that it's downloading, but you get the point. So, as you see, I got Crash Tag Team Racing and Tekken Tag Tournament. So, what we're going to do is we're going to download an application called ES File Explorer. If you already don't have it, if you watched my previous videos, you see that I like using ES File Explorer. So, we'll go ahead and we'll open it. And we'll go over here to the side to the three dashes. Go to the internal storage. Or no, actually, we'll just go to download. All right. And you'll see that it's right here in the downloads folder. And you see how Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is downloading, but it still pops up. So what you want to do is you want to find whichever game that you want to, um, you want to decompress, if you would say. So... You want to go ahead and you want to click on it and hold it down until it selects it. Go to more. Then go to... Hold on, wait, no, I'm sorry. You don't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that. That's if you want to move it. But we're not doing that right now. So you want to go ahead and you want to click on it. Now see how it says ES Zip Viewer? You go to this time only. And you want to go ahead and you want to click on it. Might take a second. If not, then we'll just go ahead and we'll hold down on it. Go to extract. Go ahead and go to OK. See how it's extracting. And then you'll see the ISO files. If you watched my previous video, I said that it has to be in the ISO file. I don't know why, but normally these actually do come in it. You just have to decompress it because it's in a zip file or RAR file. That's another thing that I want to show you guys is that it doesn't really matter if it's in an RAR file or if it's in a 7-zip file. It'll still decompress. So let this decompress real quick. And, um, okay. So it said that it's successful. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the other one. Sorry about that. And you'll see it's right here. All right. So there goes that one. Then we'll go to um, the Crash Tag Team Racing. Do the same exact steps. Go to extract. Okay. As you can tell, my phone's pretty quick at doing this. And this is not speeding up. As you could tell, I'm actually talking with this doing this. So if you don't know what phone that I'm using, it's the Galaxy S9 Plus. Definitely need to check this phone out. Amazing.
and I also did buy a 128 gigabyte SD card for it. So that could help it out because I'm not really using up that much memory on my phone. And that's another good thing to note whenever you're doing this kind of stuff. Because as you can tell, this is 3 gigs, almost 4. You don't want to run up that much gigs on your phone. So you just want to go ahead and buy an extra SD card. Rather if it's 64 gigs or whatever it is. You know, it just adds more to your phone so you're putting less stress on the processor and less stress on your memory so then that's what all makes your phone actually run as smooth and quick as what it does so the more bulk that you put on your tires of your car it's going to slow your car down so it's kind of the same exact thing with your phone the more that you put on the processing power it's going to slow it down so yeah, just let this unzip real quick and then I'll show y'all that they work. Alright guys, so as you can tell, 3 gigs is no joke. So you definitely do not want to add that on to your storage of your device. So, if you want to, uh, I already made a file, but I'll show y'all in my SD card. You just go over here to the three dots, go to new go to folder and you rename it to whatever you would like I'll just re I'll just name it folder so as you can tell it made a folder but I do have one that's right here it's called ps2 games and bios so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this all right so if you wanted to go ahead and if you wanted to add your game to that folder you just go ahead and you just hold on crash tag team you go to more and then you go to move to and it won't be in this list so you just go to back and then go to your storage and you'll see where it says ps2 games and bios but for the sake of this video I won't transfer it over but you get the idea anyways so let's go ahead and let's back out of this and let's go to Damien ps2 pro so we'll search it up right here. All right. So you want to go to your games. Click the up folder. Click it again. And it depends on if it's in your in your internal storage or in your SD card. So if it's in your SD card, you just click on your SD card and then you just find it wherever it's at. Mine would be like PS2 games and BIOS. So you would see that it pops up the game um, like what it would look like as the game as you can tell right here so let me go to back 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 again go into the internal storage and what are we looking for download so we'll go down to where it says download right here you see where it says Crash Team USA and then Tekken Tournament. So you go to Crash Team USA and there it goes. Tag Team Tournament right here. So just to show y'all that it actually works, I'm going to turn down the volume. And I'm not going to press any buttons because in my last video it was kind of annoying. And I kind of don't want to annoy y'all with the button presses anymore. So I will just show y'all that the game actually boots up. If it boots up correctly, I really don't know. It just depends on the game itself. Now, oh, sorry about that, guys. I actually did the wrong BIOS. I was doing something else. I was just looking at these BIOS to see which ones are worth keeping and not keeping. So let me go back. Let me redo that. It says Japan Virgin version. I don't know why I just say Virgin, but version 1.0. But did you see how that it said it didn't show up PS2? That means that there's uh, there's a problem with the game itself. So best thing to do whenever that happens is either A, wait to see if it plays out, or B, uh, just find a whole new uh, ROM to begin with. So this one looks like it's a bad ROM, so this may not work right or may not work correctly. 
So the only thing that you would have to do is just maybe go to a different ROM website. I normally use uh, ROM Hustler. It hasn't failed me whenever it comes to ROMs, but in like some cases, the ROMs are bad, but maybe it's because they haven't updated that ROM yet. So as you can tell, this one's a bad ROM. So we'll just go to exit the menu. Then we'll go back out and we'll try crash tag team. Hopefully this one works so I'll be able to show y'all what a good ROM looks like whenever you actually have it downloaded. Yep, there we go. Okay, good. So if it shows PS2 like the way that it did, it normally means that it'll boot up, but unfortunately this is a bad ROM as well because you could tell that the lettering's all messed up. And there you go. Yeah, so it's obviously not a good ROM. You know, I'm sorry for clicking the button, but yeah. Alright, so in some cases you will run into a bad ROM, but let me go ahead and let me back out and let me show y'all what actual good ROMs look like. So we'll back out, we'll go into SD card, and then we'll go into PS2 games. This is just in case if you haven't seen my other video of me doing this. So we'll go into Tomb Raider Anniversary because that one runs really good. Since that I have not showed y'all this yet, and I may show y'all NFL Street too. It depends on if I can get to it or not, but let's go ahead and show y'all good ROMs right now and how they run. See how it says PlayStation 2. And then it should boot right up. Yep, there we go. Let's get past this. So there you go. It's running Tomb Raider Anniversary. Click yes. See, there is a little lag in it. I said that in my past video, but it's nothing really too serious or anything to worry about because there will be a tiny bit of lag, but it's just because it's not running on a PS2 and we all know how PS2s were back in the day. You know, they were like supercomputers pretty much. So, with that being said, see how it runs. You know, there will be a little line sometimes. You've seen this in the Sonic one on my past video. But that's, that's nothing to worry about. It happens. It's the ROM. It's nothing really going on with the emulator itself. So yeah, you could tell the little lagging in it, but it's okay. It still plays. That's all that matters. We'll try to skip this real quick. I'm not trying to click on the screen that much, but um, there we go. All right, so I'll try to get it to run around. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag, but it works. You know, if you're trying to play the game on the go or whatnot. So, I'll go ahead and I'll back out, and I'll show y'all NFL Street real quick. Even though this game lags really bad, um, it still is able to be played a little bit, but not really that well. But, like I said, it's probably more of the ROM than what it is the emulator, so you have to keep that in mind. But the only thing that you really can do is just try out the ROM, see how it runs, and then try different ROMs from different websites to see if they run better or to see if they run, you know, at equal or what, whatever the case may be. You know, what, what, whatever, whatever you want to do with the emulator, you can do that. So that's one good thing about it. So you can tell with that video, there's a little bit of lag in it. So this one is just going to be a quick game. We're going to go to that. We'll just pick a random team and we'll just do auto pick just because like I said, I'm not trying to 
press on my phone too much just because of the vibration. Here it goes. Oh, it's actually running a little bit better than what it was last time. But you'll start to see it lag more as it starts to pick up in the game. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, it's a little bit of lag, just a tiny bit. It actually is running a lot better. I can say that because they I think that they updated the application. So it might be running a little bit better, but like I said, ROMs, they do some weird things whenever it comes to this. Oh, there it goes. So as you can tell, it's really not running smooth. It's just a little laggy. Definitely not playable, but still. Oh, you got me. All right, well. That's how you download ROMs and how you unzip the ROM. I'm sorry. So... If you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.